no doubt about it. And what I'm wondering right now is, is we learn now that we've watched the Fur video that, you know, SK Gaming, they live in that house and it, and it looks fantastic, right? But they might need to actually redecorate the living room and they need feathers, right, to stuff into the pillows. So this freedom bird right now is just getting plucked. <laughs> and more feathers. I don't know if Liquid have many more left to give. SK Gaming are looking fantastic and they're showing no fear whatsoever. They go charging out onto the B side and this time it's Fur. Double entry kill for him. Well, Nitro and Elise are actually fighting back right now, and this is their last chance to make a stand. They must make this work. Elise is going to go down, but he did take two with him. The bomb is put nice. Chicken coop. No one's picked it up yet. Cole gets a kill, and now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Nitro has got the double kill, and FNX hasn't touched anyone yet, and the bomb is not down. Nitro has time to work with. He's going to push in. He does spot out FNX. He has confirmation. He knows where it is. It's USP versus Glock. He's now backed by Chicken Coop. He needs to find that bomb, and right now, Nitro, very, very patient. He's not even worried that FNX is sneaking around the other side. Think about how difficult it is to play this. He's looking for the shot. He does a little bit of damage and knows now that FNX is in the back line. He's going to smoke up on the left-hand side. And now FNX is going to go for the mind games. Rotates around. Nitro reads it, but he's still very low on health. Around the smoke, it's going to happen. And FNX will take him out. Oh, no. Nitro actually played that so well that it wasn't enough. That smoke uh, that he threw seems to mess. The, uh, it seemed like it backfired a little bit. I'm not sure what his thought process was with it, but it actually seemed to help FNX more than it more than it hindered him. I saw you shake your head when he when he actually put that down. There is that little bit of hesitation that comes out. When you're on a one on one, you better you better be very confident in pulling a grenade out at any point to begin with. But even that smoke, it's, it's what is it doing? It's actually providing cover if FNX wants to have another avenue to to make uh, to do to do some kind of movement to make some kind of play. Well, another clutch goes SK Gaming's way. Another pistol. Team Liquid continue to struggle with the pistol rounds, and it's definitely going to hurt them here. 11 to 5. And they're still on pistols. Liquid trying to save up money for the rifles that SK Gaming... Well, actually, SK Gaming are pretty... They're going a bit French style here. G2. Four SMGs. Okay, then. But it seems like this is... Um, working out. A, well, it's working out. Perhaps a read. That they're, just, they're just realizing, well, Liquid might not buy Kevlar in this second round, and so we'll look to make some money. The goal the goal for Team Liquid, Andrews, you'll love this. They bought three nades, which I know you're a big fan of. They were trying to go for some kind of nade sack, hoping that there would be someone from SK, maybe one, two players coming towards this B-bomb suit so they could just drop three nades at once into the choke point. Obviously, it doesn't work out that way. Much like Elise did, the SMGs for SK were just sent forward on scouting missions, and they found a completely wide open A-bomb site. Yeah, I definitely think it's 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 worth the idea, I mean, especially if you're this far behind. You know, what a round if you picked up three kills with grenades. But um, that obviously did not happen. Calibu's there as Taco takes out Nitro and a bit of a battle that really takes you back. That has got to be one of the most epic battles in Counter-Strike history, actually, <laughs> in the Tower of Kabul. Yeah. Except if you were on a public server and you needed to find that last person hiding up there. <laughs> Never a good time. JDM is also taken out. Not that I think it really matters here. I mean, it's nice if Liquid saves some pistols, but that's not gonna, what really sort of going to change this map, is it? They need something bigger than that. I mean, I guess if we really want to get nitpicky, the one thing that irks me is that FNX is the one running off with the rifle. The only rifle that you have, you know, and he's running alone while the rest of you guys move around in a murder troop with a bunch of valueless SMGs, right? So, I mean... I know, I know it's a bit of a stretch, but FNX, just, just <laughs> keep the rifle with your teammates. That is the one thing that Liquid would love to pick up, is the rifle for this round here. Again, on pistols. Again, saving money for the next round. And this time around, they will be stacking on B, it looks like. Liquid, four players here. Simple, the only one towards A to hold towards underpass. Taco, FNX, and Cold Zero waiting to say hello to him. If they, can, if they can punish fur, they'll be able to rotate around the map. They just have to be very careful how they handle this aggression down drop. Because actually, it's he's still pressuring it, but he's being a little bit more passive. Fallen's going to drop back. He's going to meet up with his teammates out towards the A site. And Liquid do seem to have a read on this. They have three players over towards A. They have a fourth on the way there. All the meanwhile, they've largely ignored fur, who they know is at the top of drop. Got to be careful about that, ignoring Fur. You never know what might happen. Even if they manage to sort of slow the initial attack in here, if it comes to A, which it seems like it won't even do, but even if it did, you know, Fur could still be the guy walking in behind them from drop. So, Elish is in a good position. Tragically for him, they have Molotovs, and if Taco throws his into the corner, Elish is going to have a very um, tragic and hot end to the round. 
Fallen fine, simple, fairly easy kill there. A little bit of additional money, and this is all about drawing attention towards that A site. Little does he know, practically everybody is already here for Liquid. Three players stacked on the site, ready to hold, and SK Gaming, they're actually going to rotate the bomb back into the stack. It couldn't be better here for Liquid. Yeah, but if you have four members of that A bomb site, how is Simple just playing so isolated and alone? No one there to back him up. It's bait. It's bait. If it is bait, at least, they are getting really close to taking it right now. Fallen charging in. They need a quick kill here. And it's going to be Fallen to pick up that one. Finally, Nitro in the corner. Isolated alone. And they're coming for him with knives. Oh, and he gets one in return. Nitro takes down Taco. And now the Molotovs are finally going to burn him alive. And it's up to Elige. Six seconds here. The bomb plant. Is it going to happen? Oh, what? No, the fire. Oh, it's still going to happen. Fur taking out Elige. That would have been the round. One more second. How can it be real? You, you can't script this. What is going on? I don't even know what to say. That is total chaos. Taco, you go for the knife. Are you mad? I think you would have been mad if you lost that round. Uh, I mean, that, that's just such heartbreak again. Another clutch situation comes down to that last second and nothing goes Liquid way. SK, this is just putting on a clinic on Liquid's best map. Uh, well, Taco is going to, yeah, basically probably calm down just a little bit after that. Bit of a hairy situation there. Definitely a little scary. But SK Gaming setting up for a quick take. Fallen straight down into the drop. He just charges into Hiko. Looks like he ran into a brick wall, though. Hiko just shuts him down. And so now, SK Gaming down a man and still looking for a way out onto this site. JDM and Elise with their eyes on Plateau. And Taco thinking about trying to work his way through this smoke. Gets one of the smokes down of his own and maybe might be able to abuse that. But that incendiary, it's not getting canceled and he's waiting and he's going to get caught by Elise. Very good use of grenades here. Has given them a one-man lead. And rotation happening. And look at Nitro. He's sticking over behind. He really needs to stop running. At this point, you've already done so much for your team. Don't give it away by being too loud. Elise is right by the broken wall. And he's got Hiko there in a very good crossfire indeed. 50 seconds on the clock. And Elise is going to try and fall back. And now SK going to make their move. On to the bomb side. They go. 50 seconds here as Elise picks up a good shot there. Fur going to be going down if it as well. And Cold Sierra last to fall simple picking up a double kill and that will be 13 to 6. There's the start and they have four players survive. Nitro picks up an AWP they can pass that over towards JDM. So they have everything in this round they could want to start a winning streak to start trying to claw back into this game. Really nicely done to get some early kills and then just fall away, be passive, force SK to commit to the bomb site, not give them any easy kills. But now again, here's the next here's the next struggle. This is where the thought's gonna be in the back of their mind. Another anti-eco coming out. I, feel, I love this though from SK Gaming, man. They know that they have so much time, so many rounds to work with here that all they have to do is bide their time. They go for a half buy in this round, so they'll be able to go for a full buy with rifles and everything in the next round. So they do not want to give Liquid any room to work with here. They're going to maintain some pressure with the Tech Nines, and a very quick play, it looks like, out onto that B site. They aren't wasting much time here. SK Gaming already. The names of this execute are out. And now he go. Round two, and Taco's taking point this time. On the other side, a lot of people coming in and straight to the face. Hiko is going to be out of the round now. Four versus five. A simple does get a kill in return, but they're getting overrun. These close positions are dangerous versus the tech line. JDM in the back line here. Nice flick on the taco. It's a two on two. He's bringing it back for his team, and there's still no bomb plan. Nitro is right behind. JDM just has to stay alive. Doesn't do anything else. They're coming for him, though. He's got the pistol out there running him down, and just teamwork coming out right now from SK. And a headshot. Oh, no. Fur. That's the third kill in the round. My God, SK two rounds away from winning the grand finals. That was a drive-by. It looked like an afterthought. You didn't even see Fur turn. The, I mean, the presence, though, from Fur to just to know that the flank is the next logical place for any kind of aggression it took so long for that flank to come into play. You just have to take a breath after a round like that. How many of these rounds are we going to have? Another anti-eco failure for Liquid. SK Gaming coming through on pistols. And now, I mean, it's just Liquid. They, what can they hope to do here? They have two rifles, they have the shotgun and two pistols. This is all they could buy with their limited economy. SK Gaming, however, running with the double AWP. They have all the fancy toys. So now we get to see them put, to, to, well, put them to use. Elish is playing a very dangerous game right now against Corsair, and I wish he would stop because I feel like it isn't worth it, Elish. He's still young, You've got a lot to live for, just <laughs> keep away from Corsair. Corsair, that is.
especially the way things have gone for Team Liquid, you just know that a shot like that from Cold is it just landing through that smoke at some point. Yeah. But now, I mean, look at the nades left on, on the Team Liquid side. There's not a lot left. Oh, so. this is interesting. Did Hiko just get boosted up and drop? I think Elise just went over there to boost Hiko up, so he might have an option here, but Fur is checking it. Very thorough play coming in here from Fur. Not sure if he heard any noise to, to, to alert him to the play, the trap that had been set by Liquid. But still, 50 seconds left on this clock. SK Gaming continue to run this clock down, and it looks like we're going to be heading over towards that A site. Fallen rotating in now with the bomb, and Nitro and Simple already set up solid on the site itself. With all the, re the remainder of their team are actually pretty far away, so this could get very tricky here for Team Liquid. Nitro and Simple have to hit some shots and stay alive for Elise to start rotating over. Nitro is playing very close, but he's going to be in so much trouble. As well, and he's going to go proactive instead. That makes a lot of sense. Simple on the side backup is coming, and Taco being caught in an uncomfortable position ends up going down for ready and waiting. And no kind of backup possible here. Hiko going to fall as well. It is match and map and tournament point here for SK. There were, there were really no no options for Liquid in that round, no tools that they had. SK has just defeated them soundly, taken everything from them. This is just brutal, because when you're watching the minimap from SK Gaming, they just swarm the site. It's just, there's nowhere to hide if you're Liquid. You're constantly caught in crossfires, they're constantly getting in your face, they just don't give you any room to breathe whatsoever. And so, given the situation, it just can't happen like this for Liquid. They're on pistols this round, guys, and it's tournament point for SK. It's so mad to watch, and you guys get a real good sense of it here. The round is going to be live, and we're into the 22nd one. It's um, it's hard to imagine that SK won't be able to do it. Well, look, we would be looking for nine straight rounds in a row here for Liquid to try and bring it back. Don't want to say it's impossible, but it seems increasingly unlikely here. Here's that challenge again on the Cold Zero. Is he actually going to go for it? There's no smoke there this time. He has the scout. He wanted to go for something, but Fallen did it better. And well, yet another terrific start here for SK Gaming. He goes on 5 HP, they have the man advantage, they still have all the firepower and fall, and they just can't get anything going. An underpass against him, he's always one step ahead. Yet another pick, JDM's been spotted by Fur as well. And Hiko is working his way towards connector, Fur hears those steps. So they have all the information now, SK Gaming, to make the play happen. Three more kills, even with this big of a lead, even with so much going their way, they're still playing it slow. No one is rushing anywhere, no one's leaving anything to chance. JDM going down, Hiko going down, and now Nitro alone, one versus five, with a pistol being flanked as well. SK Gaming, what an incredible team. It's up to Nitro. He does get a shot and picks up an AK, but there's no saving it. He has to go and fight, and they're getting close. Here's the spray coming through. He takes out Fur as well, but he's down to 12 health, and now it's just all in the the details easy for SK to pick it up here He's trying to walk through the smoke but it's just not gonna happen SK gaming second major championship in a row they are your winners